All right, is that working? That might be working. Probably bouncing around a little bit, but we'll straighten it out, right? Now it's good. It's a little crooked. Always a little crooked. And Jeff's not good at cutting. Hey, it's Ryan from the new Janky Workshop. Um, at the most recent Milford Pumpkin Festival that Jeff and I did, we had a lot of fun up there. We sold a ton of stuff, which was great. We met a ton of people. Um, and we had a whole bunch of, well, we had a few people ask us about leather working and getting started in it and kind of what tools to have. And one of the best things about leather working is that from a tools perspective, it's, it doesn't cost a lot to get started. And I know that there are dozens of videos out there on YouTube right now uh, explaining the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. We may even link to a couple of them here, the ones that we like. But getting started in leather working, the basics, the tool basics, and I might even do some stitching. We'll see. Talk to you. All right, so the shop's a mess, so pardon that. Um, there's a ton of stuff here. I, I'm not going to go through all the stuff that I got, but I mean, you can go crazy with rivets and buckles and cutters and thread and anyway. Um, I'm going to spend two minutes talking about thread, maybe not two minutes, a couple minutes talking about glue, maybe some stitching. None of the rest of this stuff, you don't really need any of that. All right, let's see, what do we got in here? So this is, again, there's a lot of stuff here. Most of it is unnecessary. If you wanna just get started, that's a knife. Um, you could, in theory, and a lot of people do, use a knife just like that in getting started. Um, other options are these rotary cutters, which are nice, I like those, but again, not, not needed, not necessary. Um, a set of dividers is very nice to have, and you'll see why. But again, not really needed, but it makes things look a lot better in the finished state. So these here are called stitching chisels, um, and you can get these for, you know, anywhere from 20 bucks for a set of four to, you know, 30 to $50 a piece for one of these. Um, I've seen some very nice stitching chisels with replaceable bits, etc. But these are essentially what set the distance of your stitches when you're doing leather stitching. Contrary to popular belief, one does not typically shove the needle all the way through the leather with the thread attached on the end. So these are the needles that I use. Um, I started off buying a set of leather working needles. They ended up being way too fat and big and really difficult to actually get through the leather. So I moved away from those. These I believe are called stitching needles or something like that. I'll, I'll see if I can look them up and maybe get a link in the description for you there. Um, so a couple of needles, some thread. Now the thread that I use is standard issue um, waxed thread. I mean, this is, if you do leather working or leather stitching, waxed thread, you'll essentially find this stuff. Um, other than that, really the most important thing is over here. Is it over here? Yeah, it's one of these. Not the most important thing, but a very important thing. Um, a nice ruler, preferably with a cork back so it doesn't slide around on the leather. It's always, it's always good to have. You'll need a mallet, one of these guys. Um, again, I bought this, but a hammer honestly will work, although it will wreck your chisel ends. It'll end up mushrooming out. So a mallet's a good thing to have. Um, that, some glue. Um, I use both this Fabri-Tac, which I really like, and I also use contact cement, which I don't have with me right now. Um, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. This tends to be, um, I don't know, I'm not as confident about the bond on this, but it works. Um, and really, that's kind of about it. A way to cut the leather, um, a way to, well, I shouldn't say that. There is one more, two more tools. Um, marking, a scratch all or something sharp. You can even use, and I have many times, the back edge of your X-Acto blade to mark, um, and then a hole punch. This is a very inexpensive hole punch that I got, and I'm still using it. 
Uh, it's not great, but it works. And it essentially has, you know, this head that rotates around to give you different hole punch sizes. Um, and then essentially, you know, it's just a matter of popping the leather in there and making the hole. So that right there, I mean, if you take this out, which are sort of not needed, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, you could easily get started for 50 bucks. Um, nice to haves or, you know, I mean, a couple bucks for a um, bit of cutting board, although you can use some plastic cutting board you got on in site or in, in your house. Um, I do have this really nice um, big chunk of granite. What is it? Stone. I don't know. It's just a big chunk of stone. And this is great for stitching. Um, for, you know, for getting the holes in, pounding, marking, cutting, etc., etc. So that's really it for getting started now.